Well, before Farlap, there was one thoroughbred that captured Australia's imagination. Archer, the first horse to win the Melbourne Cup, became an instant national hero. Now an Australian Olympian is making sure that Archer's legacy isn't forgotten. He's an Australian Olympian of the journalistic world, Paul Marshall. <laughs> got a few miles to do. We've got about nine kilometres to do this morning, Mum. A frosty morning on the New South Wales Southern Tablelands. Edward Fernan is starting an 1100 kilometre ride to Melbourne. His mum Alex with him for the first bit. Oh, well, I've never spent five weeks straight riding a horse. I worked as a jackaroo in 2006. I've done a bit of time in the saddle, but certainly nothing like this. He's called his ride following the legend of Archer. Archer. The horse that won the first Melbourne Cup in 1861 and again the next year. And this is a Billy. That was your poppy's Billy. Archer was bred by James Royd's family. My great great grandfather had a racetrack just up in the paddocks up here. And according to the legend, Archer is buried here. And this is where he's buried. Right here. <laughs> uh, Legend has it that he's born a uh, little further down on the creek. Um, there are some stories, but he is uh, buried somewhere in, in this district and along the creek or just near it. There are a lot of stories about Archer. As the legend goes, Archer was so tough that before he won the cup, he had to walk all the way from here down to Melbourne. A great horse and a great story. There was even a movie about his famous walk. A young Nicole Kidman was in it. But sadly, it's not quite right. It's one of those folklores of Australian history. Um, no, he didn't. He caught a boat um, from Sydney down to Melbourne Cup, and it's, it's in the papers of the time that he arrived on the, on the boat. Um, and I'm not sure who started the legend. But it's a great legend. It's a great story that he walked from here or from now or all the way down to Melbourne. Wasn't your family who started it? Probably. <laughs> now, this story about Archer. Yes. It's not true. No, that's correct. So Ed's riding the trail Archer would have taken. This is Archer. It's uh, not Archer. <laughs> really? Yeah, we call him Archer. His name's Banjo, really. But Archer, he'll be until Melbourne. <laughs> Morning. Well, Mum did a very good job at shielding us as kids um, from her illness. There's more than legend to this ride. Ed's doing it for his mum to raise some money for research into depression. Alex's depression was so bad, she ended up in hospital. And uh, I just found myself just slipping down into a big, deep hole and uh, found myself in a pretty bad state. It feels terrible. Um, your mood is very low. It's like um, you're walking around, but you almost feel dead inside, like your battery's gone completely flat, and you have to motivate yourself to do everything, to get out of bed, to cook a meal, to put washing on the line. Everything you do, you've got to steal yourself for. She got help and is much better. And it was Mum who helped get Ed to London for the Olympics. He competed in the modern pentathlon. No medal but he's going to try again for the next games in Rio. Going to the Olympics, it's quite a selfish endeavour, that, that whole Olympic and, and elite sport. You, uh, you require so much assistance from coaches and family and friends, and to come out here now and to be able to do something which is, has a real positive impact on people's lives, and especially in the area of depression, is, uh, you know, I feel really honoured. Come and show me the back of the car. Oh, yeah, this is our, sort of our support vehicle, the Audi, and, um, yeah, it's a bit packed with gear. Oh, just a, one of my London bags, one of the many gear. They had some pretty good gear and I thought it was pretty fitting. Yeah, it's got a bit of bloody gear in there, but I think it'll, it'll do the trick. That's an Olympic athlete's bag. Yeah, maybe it's a bit good for be, for, to be taken on the ride, but I don't know, at least it fits everything. There's quite a bit of Olympic gear around. Uh, Ladies, where did you get the shirts? <laughs> These. Oh, well, these are what they wore at the Olympics. Well, what event were you in? <laughs> Ed's family, aunties and grannies. Are you both grandmothers? We are. We are. Yes. Of yes. this boy. What do you think of him? Oh, magnificent. Magnificent. We're so proud. We'll get on and get going. Bye, darling. See you. He's taking the Bicentennial National Trail down to Melbourne, riding through the snowy mountains. Yeah, camping out the whole way. They say it could snow any time. 
and uh, it was minus three last night, so I'm a bit nervous about that, but I think it'll be all right. He wants to be in Melbourne in time for the Cup, following the legend. I think at the end of the day, what's important is um, it's a part of Australian history and, and I'm really glad that we're able to come here and sort of fulfil that legend for Archer, uh, basically to fulfil what Archer wasn't able to complete. That's a good way of looking at it. Isn't it? Such a beautiful story and I think it's so wonderful that that is raising money for depression and spreading awareness because next week of course is Mental Health Week. Mm -hmm. I have a vested interest. I'm a patron of the Mental Health Council of Australia uh -huh. and um, having experienced depression myself and had it within my family, I think it's really important that we talk about it and mm. the more that we spread that message we can reduce the stigma. So that's yeah. what next week is all so about. So particu those particular funds go to Beyond Blue, is it? They do. Yeah, right. and, um, they do Dog Institute still exist? Yeah, that lady had that it on it, her yes. shirt. Oh, she had it on her yeah. shirt. Yeah. Black dog. yeah, right. Yeah, so okay. it must be connected there somewhere. Yeah. Um, great story. Yeah. Terrific story. Yes. And Archie was your hero. Archie was my oh. favourite book as a kid. I loved that story. There I can't believe it's not really quite true. Oh, no, it's look, look oh, parts of it, it are true. I think it is. I think, I think Archer walked, walked, walked from Mooney Ponds to Flemington, <laughs> which is still, you know, that's over There's plenty of girls that do that without their shoes every year. But he didn't do it with a piccolo in his hand.